Hello and welcome to Film News Fridays. The first bit of film news we have is Spider-Man Into the Verse is out later this year. So this is a computer animated film and before everybody groans and starts to wonder how many times do we have to go through Uncle Ben's murder again (laughs) spoilers rest assured that this spider-man story isn't even going to be about peter parker it will instead follow a different character named miles morales who was created in the comics in 2011 and is said to have drawn inspiration from barack obama and donald glover I have yet to confirm if that means he will be a Spider-Man who can rap and have extremely good, good PR, or what do they mean exactly by that? The trailer for this movie looks absolutely insane, and I can't wait for it. I I mean, I have suffered from Spider-Man fatigue in the past, but I really enjoyed the last Spider-Man with Tom Holland uh, last summer I I think it was and I'm certainly up for following a story about a different Spider-Man another great thing uh, about this movie is that it is being written by Phil Lord who of course has a great track record with writing cloudy with a chance of meatballs and movies like the Lego movie very good writer and he said what inspired us the most is that anyone can wear the mask you can be any race creed or color said executive producer phil lord and chris miller i wonder what iconic stories we could see next with that in mind i I would love to see a modern day black robin hood set in maybe like the bronx starring michael b jordan you could have just a real piece of shit corrupt cop called the sheriff who is this kind of Sheriff of Nottingham figure, maybe played by Josh Brolin, and just have Michael B. Jordan robbing from all these Republican banks and just giving it to the poor people of the projects. Then, of course, he would start a relationship with independent businesswoman Marion. Kanye West appears as a cameo in the end as King Richard. We could also do a Latino Sherlock movie called Sherlock Holmes. (laughs) Of course, this would be more of a comedy, kind of like a Harold and Kumar stoner comedy approach. Maybe Danny Trejo as Sherlock Holmes and like DMX is what, son? (laughs) They can be like aging stoner detectives who stumble across a big cartel our next bit of movie news is jumanji 3 has been announced which is a sequel to jumanji into the jungle which i thought was pretty bad to be honest the movie is bringing everyone back again who matters the rock kevin hart jack black i guess the logical thing to do is have all those avatars and the game itself unleash itself on the real world this time i mean i'd actually love to see an x-rated jumanji the game has evolved again this time found in a sex shop it has evolved into a sex game roll the dice you're a gimp being chased by anthropomorphic dildos that type of thing the rock is now the cock i'm sorry Uh, i mean you might think my idea is ridiculous but i can guarantee you it will be better than anything that they come up with for the actual Jumanji tree. Our final piece of movie news this week is Wonder Woman 1984 and it's expected to hit theatres on the 1st of November 2019. Now I hated the first Wonder Woman, I really truly did. It will be directed by Patty Jenkins again, this time set in the 1980s amid the cold war conflict and it kind of got me thinking what other superhero movies would work set in a different era i know i have seen a a batman movie recently called batman ninja set in ancient japan which although wasn't entirely successful was at least a very good concept there was another cartoon before called phantom 2040 which took 
the phantom character and set him in the future where there is no nature basically and he had this virtual reality jungle uh, and it, it, the rest of the environment was this really urban setting in, in the future which was a really good idea as well i would personally love to see a capone era batman with much more limited gadgets than we see now i, I would probably also love to see a roman empire era hulk although i guess we got that to an extent in the last thor but maybe a whole movie around it would be fantastic if you guys maybe have any better ideas let's face it you probably do or if ye have any movie news you're excited by share it in the comments below because that's all we have time for now on film news fridays this week